Some had been queuing for hours, not for a glimpse of their favourite boy band or Hollywood star, but for a video game that's been half a decade in the making. for it for like five years so it's bound to be a big thing. I've never approved on it over the years and this is just amazing like the, this new game everyone's been waiting for as you can see. Grand Theft Auto 5 is the latest and biggest in the franchise's 16-year history. A homage to the dirtier end of American culture, it allows players to immerse themselves in a hyper-real version of the USA's criminal underworld. Yet, as the writer for the original GTA explains, its gun-toting origins are rather closer to home. I think a lot of people would be astonished if they, if they knew it came from Edinburgh. Um, GTA has been built in Scotland from the get-go. It's based on American culture, but via film and via movies. So it's all of the best gangster movies and the car chase movies and the crime heist capers. It's all of those things that sort of rolled into one package. In total, Grand Theft Auto V is estimated to have cost £170 million to make and market, dwarfing the budget of any other video game and almost all Hollywood releases. Such is the game's fan base that 3 million copies have been pre-ordered. And with 25 million copies estimated to be sold in the first 12 months, GTA V could make in excess of £1 billion. Those here in London Soho to celebrate the latest edition of Grand Theft Auto are probably as aware as anyone else that in reality video games have been big business for quite some time. Last year the industry was valued at £42 billion. By 2014 it's expected to rise to £52 billion. Compare and contrast with global box office takings of half of that. It's not just cinema's profits that the video game industry has stolen, it's also its techniques placing the gamer in the middle of their own Hollywood epic. When it comes to the cinematics themselves, you know, they've been working on this game for about five years. They're going to be pushing it with what they can do with the technology. The distinction between games and cinema is now increasingly blurred. Hollywood is on the run. Neil Patterson, Sky News.